Sanchez. Welcome to Preview, where friends don't let friends watch television alone. I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. And tonight we're going to react, review, riff. and at the end we're going to rate episode 6 of season 2 of The Legend of Vox Machina. The Legend of Vox Machina. It's morphin' time. <laughs> We're working on a unified theory of the Morphin Grid the past few days here. Pretty sure if it's a fictional universe, can, it's man, got access to the Morphin Grid. I, you've never, you have never posited anything, like, as a bit, but it, like, truly has infected everything that I've been thinking about. And I feel like, yeah, watch our most, watch our most recent Bad Batch episode, you guys, because I didn't give you the proper response because it truly just, like, melted my synapses and that's all I can think about now. <sighs> Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, the past couple episodes, everyone's been getting a little bit of a glow up. Yeah, everyone's man. getting their moment to shine because they're jumping levels and getting I new don't abilities. Know if I would call Vax's situation a glow up per se. Okay, so maybe they desaturated him a little bit. Yeah, he's going to work for Death Google. <laughs> you know, like... He is going to work for Death Google. <laughs> well, he's got access to the Speed Force. Do there Google. are some benefits to Google. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, some cool benefits. Never eating knives. And also loves a bunch of shurikens. His armor glows and probably has other abilities he hasn't tapped into yet. Yeah, man. And a lot of speed. Yeah, Vax is a Genji main. I don't know if you guys figured that out yet. <laughs> <laughs> Keyleth last episode turned into a fire golem. Yeah. She's halfway done with her avatar training. She's got two more uh, two more elements to master. Well, Earth? I would say one third because I don't think she has to do the the wind one. No, she's got Earth, she's got wind and fire. She's got to do water yes. and earth. Yes, but I think the wind one is already like she's be, oh. being being an air shari. I don't think she has to. Oh, okay. She didn't I could that. be wildly wrong about that, and you I'm sure could and be? light up those comments and thank you for the engagement. You know, telling us we're stupid still. The, the algorithm goes, it, they yeah. like this. Hey, telling us we're stupid? <laughs> Welcome. That's part... It, I, they say our engagement is quite high, and I'm like, yeah, it's because we're stupid. Because <laughs> they feel the need to correct us. Because we're dumb, dumb boys. <laughs> and we say things without knowing about anything. We're just, oh, would you like? It's straight from my butt. <laughs> Your internet best friends, them dumb, dumb boys. <laughs> How them dumb, dumb boys gonna get out of this one? Ooh, they don't know everything about the Clone Wars television. Television show, they're gonna get lit up in them comments. <laughs> donuts, 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 donuts. <laughs> hey, if you like this full edited reaction and want to watch our full unedited reaction from beginning to end, soup to nuts, all them burps and farts and uninteresting parts, check out our link to our Patreon below. It's a, it, there's a staggering amount of content there. It's it's a certified butt ton of content. Hit that button for a butt ton. It was worth of content. Also, I forgot what I was going to say. Pa I, thought oh, you, so I thought you were pausing for no, applause on no, that one. Yeah, but, no, no, no. But ton for but ton. Nice, man. No, it's I good. Oof, my brain melted out of my head. Well, it's almost midnight. Also, if you're part of the 40, 45 percent of people that is watching our content and is not subscribed, man, I recommend you fix it. Oh, hey, that's the name of our podcast, which I know you guys are fully aware is the podcast where Jay and I take things from pop culture that we think maybe miss the mark by a little bit sometimes, by a lot, and we fix it. I'm pretty sure you could almost just say this next part along with me. Next week, we're doing The Happening. <laughs> it's a very, very bad movie. <laughs> and it's a very good episode. It's of a our very podcast. good episode because we take a bad movie and we actually give reason behind things that are better than just. It's the trees. Trees. So fix it. I'm looking at you, Augustus. Ooh, Augustus. 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 Save some room for later and subscribe, you idiot. Yeah, get out of that pipe. And subscribe. I think he's still in there. Oh no, he went. No, he went. That one went straight to the fudge room. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We flushed them a long time ago. <sighs> yeah, they baked that poor child. Oompa loompa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's yum, watch. Yum. We, we gotta watch this thing. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Drinking that guy like a Capri Sun. Yeah, man. No. Yes. You made the proud Krog. Thank 
No. I get it. I have that dream all the time. We just see all your friends strewn about you. Yeah, just, there's just a the, tableau the on a rock. Power just of my, of my bloodthirst. Are you just, are you just feeding us to the little fat dragon? <laughs> Gotta keep that dragon fat. It's such a you fat feed dragon. All your friends do it. Who doesn't like a fat dragon? It's just fun. <laughs> it's like when cats are fat. No one's mad. I mean, the vet's the mad. The vet's not, not <laughs> thrilled. <laughs> But it's fun. <laughs> Why is it fun? How is that fun? You need to fatten up at least one of your cats. No, I don't. I think so. They're all a very healthy weight. It's Marfin time! <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what message is Trinket going to get? What? Isn't Trinket, Trinket's going to get his own glow-up episode? Absolutely. Yeah. I don't want to spoil it for you. Okay. Please, yeah, please don't. I just got to feel... Yeah. I, I, just, I just thought, like, oh, yeah, Trinket's going to get something, too. This will be good. Yeah. Maybe you could ask her for help. Ask the Matron of Ravens. Somehow I doubt she'd listen. Well, you I could know. try. I mean, the Everlight stepped in for Pike, so, like... And I'd rather not repeat that experience. Oh, no, Percy, I didn't mean... No, please take it. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job, bud. Yeah. Oh, hey, neat oh, trick. Yeah. Could have done that earlier, but okay, cool, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. We've just been walking for miles and... Co I like cold. <laughs> Makes my nipples tingle. I was about to say, <laughs> it's pretty hard. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, Grog, what are you... Don't you worry, Scanlan. Uncle Grog is going to keep I... you warm. Oh, fun. Huh, this is actually kind of cozy. <laughs> yeah, it sounds nice. Oh, man, when, when the boy comes, he's just always going to be right here. I'm going to be like a big mama kangaroo. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. I mean, you and Kimberly may be fighting over him to hold him, but... Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> Ancient... Runes? Clearly this is a This crap. is the kind of stuff you walk on by. Yeah. You do an investigation check and you say no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of obelisks. For pillars. <sighs> you clever minx. I mean, shouldn't you have thrown like a few ball bearings past that real quick? Just to make sure. I've got 50 of them. I've got 50 of them. What is this place? A temple. An old one. Aren't they all? Not this old. <laughs> Built before the divergence. We were sent by Osisa! <gasps> My mate sent you? Whoa, hey, dude. Whoa. In the challenge, yes, we sort of assumed. What did you have in mind? Mm. How confident. Then I shall let you choose. The form of your destroyer? Uh, give us just a sec. Guys? <laughs> Everyone take a knee. We don't have to defeat him, just hurt him. Say something uh, hurt his feelings. Say something mean. Your outfit is outdated. You're tacky, and I hate you. <laughs> Each of you will have a chance to wound me in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Oh. Who dares go first? Ah, oh, wait a second. You won't be able to overpower him. <sighs> Brawn's not really my thing. It's speed and backstabbing. Yeah, man. Stack that dex modifier. Dump stat. You'll love to see it. Feed. Ah! Right, let's do this. Thanks. Feed me groggy. Yeah. Feed me all night long. Your brother lives, but he will fall in the void forever. Unless one of you can succeed. Oh. It's basically Yo, man. It's like the cell games. Okay. Sphinxes are rad, man. They're, that design is so good. Quite formidable. That's not fair if you have a force field, dude. 
There's gotta be another way. Oh, shut up. Are you gonna be right? Because if Scanlan's the only one left, his actual superpower is yeah, his man. tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Just doing bard things, baby. <laughs> Once again, in case you're wondering if shit rocks, <laughs> shit rocks. <laughs> this is smooth rock, Jay. <laughs> oh, oh no, sad speech. You've done what no other has before. You must know true love in your life. Oh, yeah, yeah, guys, gals, anyone oh. in between. Perhaps you need to stop looking for love and let love find you. <laughs> I was life. falling for half we an hour! <laughs> How about uh -huh. nice thighs yo touch me? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? In my millennia of existence, this is the wisest sage I've ever known. The fuck? <laughs> He's gonna tell us where all the other vestiges are. Not quite, wise one. Oh, you dude. will reveal them yourselves. The vestige known as Mythgarver, connected to all myths and legends, including the other vestiges. Mythgarver, show me something. Woo! <laughs> yeah. A crazy forest with upside down waterfalls. Ah. Is that the Feywild? There's a bunch of dudes who look like Grog. One's got a vestige. Big, giant gauntlets. They're glowing. Uh, it's probably not important. <laughs> We're not alone. I'm afraid you've been followed. Uh oh. <sighs> Wait, the Sphinx can't do anything against a dragon? Uh, they can probably hold their own. Can bards use swords? I mean, yeah, or can use a sword. Oh, okay. Find me a vestige. Cam on our side, we can actually beat this fucker. Split up. Hit him where the Sphinx has drawn blood. Oh, I'd expect a dragon fight. Not yet, Defiler. Come on, Cam. I mean, aim for the sack. Hit him in the sack. Give me that <sighs> oh, I would think dragon blood would be quite the boost. Enough. No. Sad. I hunger for blood. Step it up, Keyleth. Maybe you would like to declare something, Grog, on top of this? Yeah, man. Okay. I need okay. Uh... Rog! What are you doing? We gotta leave! There's a little bit on the ropes here. He it would you could say he's bloodied. <laughs> Cast it now! Oh, 
they got bumped off course. Where are we? <laughs> Man, they really know how to end. They are doing <laughs> such an amazing job of like getting into each next episode, and then that's just like, oh, ah, dragon fight. That's, oh my. <laughs> that was very good. Yeah, man. Damn it. <laughs> I gotta wait another week. That was such a good cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah. It's hard not to walk away. Like as much as it's like the cliffhangers like crazy and stuff, but it's, it's it's hard not like I walk away from like watching this show just like have just like a big damn smile on my face the whole time. It's hard not to just like have a great time. You know, sad stuff happens. Oh you know, sure, sure, sure. But that, this is just the best time. Oh. This is amazing. Hot diggity damn. Was it Bo for Vex and the the Feywild? Yeah. We got to go take on Grog's, uh, clearly his father or his uncle or something who's got a, a vestige of his own. Yeah. We still got other vestiges we got to get. Keyleth still doesn't have hers, but she's, you know, morphing into a fire golem. <sighs> Scanlan's got a big ass heart. Surprise. Not really. And then his best friend just dies right in front of him. Man. Like Grog. Yeah, I don't know. He almost wanted me to win that dragon. The guy yeah. was hurt. Yeah. He was hurt. Yeah, but at what cost? Uh, that's true. At what cost? And I don't think, can Bart heal? Because at the moment, Pike does yeah. not have any. Oh, they can? Okay, good. Because. Yeah. Not, not, I don't think not they. Well. I don't think they have cantrips, but they have the spell. Okay. Uh, I guess, uh, no, I think you could. I think it depends on the subclass. Oh. Right? Yeah, I think you can. I hope so. Well, Jay, uh, how would you read episode six of season two of The Legend of Vox Machina? Oh, man. This one, this one, this one's getting, uh, this one's getting <laughs> one out of one Sphinx best friends. I think, you know, I feel like you'd like the Sphinxes because they're just big kitties. Yeah, they are big they're kitties. They're just big kitties. Well, they're big floofy tails. <laughs> oh, no, you know you won't pet one. I mean, it seems like they're made out of rock and not so much fur, but. Look. Sometimes the floof is in your heart, you know? Oh, that's true. Sometimes it's not always about the exterior floofiness. It's about the floof inside. So you're saying it's the floof we made along the way? Mm-hmm. 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 How'd you guys rate this episode? Let us know in the comments below or hop on our Discord channel where lots of fun, cool people are talking about lots of fun, cool stuff. We'd love to have you join the conversation. The link is down below in our description box. So while you're down there, please like, subscribe. Hit that bell. To the YouTube. That you do so well. Guacamole's extra. You, you floofy weirdos, you. Oh, the video is popping up right here. Yeah. Please watch this. We would appreciate it as much as we appreciate you watching this one. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.